my lovely, lovely imps, how many of you ever thought you would see the day that Mitch McConnell.exe stopped working in real time? <laughs> you guys want to see a dead body? No, okay, it's not that extreme. It's not quite, it's not quite dead body extreme, all right? But it is <laughs> very funny, and it is very deranged. So I figured I would share with you something very weird that happened today. Now, if you're watching this uh, uh, as a video, it wasn't today. But just so you know, today, as of the recording of this video, is July 26th, 2023. And today is the day that Mitch McConnell broke. Let's watch it together, shall we? Keep an eye on Mitch McConnell and his general expression and general uh, being. Let's do this, ready? A partisan cooperation and a string of... Yeah, so he looks like he's shitting himself. Yeah, um, a lot of people have had various theories. Uh, some people said that perhaps he saw uh, the the ghost of uh, of of the Iraqi children um, that he he helped kill uh, uh, with his involvement in the Republican Party. Perhaps some people, uh, perhaps he saw the, 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 like an army of demons that are waiting to drag him down to hell. Uh, in truth, I think it's a lot more likely that he probably just had a stroke. Um, we don't actually know yet. Um, as of the last time that I checked, uh, we don't actually know what happened to Mitch McConnell. Um, we just know that it happened. And also that Mitch McConnell came back out afterwards so he disappeared he he was in the middle of a sentence stopped stared dead forward for a good solid 30 seconds and then was carried away by his handlers and then he came back out later and finished what he was saying now if he had a stroke and he went back out to finish his speech that's not very good for his brain health now it is possible that he didn't actually have a stroke um, it's possible that he just had a massive brain fart and that he literally couldn't think of where he was but and also couldn't talk to his other people. But I'm not going to lie. Everything that I can see screams stroke. They brought him back out strapped to a dolly like a broken refrigerator. No, I don't think they did. I think they made him walk back out to like show strength or whatever. Um... It's, uh, ooh, man. It's, uh, now, if he shit himself, that wouldn't be the first time that somebody shit themselves in the halls of, uh, 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 in, in the halls of, 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 uh, of the government. It, not even close. There's been many, many moments. There have been many pants shitting moments. Uh, but I will say it seems to be getting, uh, remarkably common these days. And I got, I just gotta say... <laughs> Um, the thing I just got to say is, can we just have a frank conversation about, uh, about elder abuse? Okay. Um, it's with everything we have coming out about, about Diane Feinstein and, uh, and, and, and fucking Mitch McConnell and hell, I'll be honest, even Joe Biden. Joe Biden is what, 77? Is that Joe Biden's age? That's pretty goddamn old. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Joe Biden is 80. Joe Biden is 80 years old, okay? Oh my God, it's Donald Trump who's 77. Joe Biden is 80 years old. 
Now look, you can do great things at any age. You really can. You can accomplish great acts at any age. And you can also do all kinds of things at different ages. But when you're 80 years old, it is just a simple fact that most people's bodies cannot handle the same level of stress, the same level of, uh, of uh, 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 intensity that they used to be able to, to the degree that you can hurt yourself really, really, really easy when you're at old age. And let's just point out the fact that being a politician isn't exactly, especially in a heavy leadership role, the lowest stress job. Now, it's not the highest stress job either, but being expected to give lots and lots of speeches, to travel all over the place in planes and helicopters, do you guys know how dangerous it is for old people to be on planes? Like, Old people die on planes all the time. They die suddenly on planes because when you go up into the, when you go up at high heights, the pressure changes and it increases the likelihood that you're going to get a stroke. Okay. It's, it is, there are a lot of really, really, really old and it, uh, uh, people in politics, a lot of old people with really entrenched power and Sometimes they're there out of sheer stubbornness, like Mitch McConnell. Other times, you don't know exactly why they're there, like Dianne Feinstein, where I don't know if it's actually stubbornness anymore or if it's actually sort of like uh, the Democratic Party feels that they have to keep her going there or else they're going to lose her seat uh, and it'll be real, real, real bad. But this is not a normal or healthy uh, 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 situation for people to be in. Having so many positions of incredible power occupied by people who are, quite frankly, suffering, obviously suffering under the role, is kind of an indictment of our society and our inability to even, like, I don't know, give old people a dignified life. Let, al let alone let let the future be inherited by younger people. Let, let's let just, uh, let, even if we don't even consider that part, the fact that, uh, the fact that, that there, it is, that like, uh, at the highest levels of office, it's being broadcasted that you should be doing insanely high stress uh, work, traveling by plane, even into your 80s, even into your late 70s, is a deranged, deranged state of affairs okay it's it's in it's insane okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> as retcon retcon 404 says why do we have why 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 are the profits from halo real yeah it's kind of insane that we have like literally just ancient old people extremely ancient old people in positions of unbelievable power some of them very clearly no longer fit for that power other ones more debatably so while it is incredibly funny to witness someone so evil as mitch mcconnell uh clearly have a a extreme elderly moment uh in front of a camera it's also kind of horrifying. It's also kind of just deeply harrowing about the state of our country. That we we are we found ourselves in such a state of affairs. You know what? You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Dark Souls. You know? Not to be a gamer for a minute, but come on, we all know here. Everybody here is a gamer, right? Not to not to not to pull on that, but you know in Dark Souls how uh, the entire storyline of Dark Souls is about this ancient old king who is so afraid of, uh, of, of things changing that he decides to put a curse on the entire human race that binds all of their souls to his so that he'll live, him and his, uh, his uh, uh, godly children will live forever while draining the life out of, huma out of humans. Humans can't even die because they're bound to the gods, but they just continually become more and more shriveled wretches as their energy is sucked out of them in order to power uh, the gods themselves. 
Kind of reminds me of that, doesn't it? Kind of reminds you of that. We, we live in a world where the top positions of power, the positions of ultimate power, the things making your life hell, the things that are standing in the way of, I mean, let's be real, Mitch McConnell personally has been responsible for killing literally countless bills that would help everyday Americans. Mitch McConnell literally uh, referred to himself as the grim reaper of democratic bills, predominantly ones that have to do with welfare, health care, voting reform. Mitch McConnell has been responsible for killing student debt forgiveness, despite the fact that we just, that the United States just uh, uh, passed through a, a world-changing pandemic, despite the fact that there has been incredible uh, 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 economical uh, uh, upheaval over the last few decades, this motherfucker, this ancient motherfucker, sat there and grim reapered these bills. He, kill, he helped kill Build Back Better, an infrastructure plan for America. He basically sits there and does anything that corporate America wants. And that's just Mitch McConnell. That's not even getting into the broader, the, the, other, the other ancient uh, ghouls, literal ghouls, who are sitting on top of government and commanding what will happen to your life and everybody else. We live in a very bad time. Okay, we live in a time of a very weird time where incredibly, incredibly old people who have unlimited access to health care can sit up there and deny you and everybody else access to the same health care. Again, maybe we just live in Dark Souls. Maybe that's it. You know, we got all these, uh, these, the rest of us have to bear the curse so that people like Mitch McConnell can live just a little bit longer and do just a little more evil in the world. And again, it's not just Mitch McConnell. And it's not just the fact that Mitch McConnell is evil. Because it's kind of fucked up to do this to old people at all. It's kind of fucked up to have that be an expectation of society. That these old people can't just go and retire and live their lives. Can go explore some art, paint some paintings, and let young people advance to, you know, you know climb up the ladder. Instead, it's like a, it's like a, 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 a never ending, just somebody sitting on top trying to make every single moment of their life last as long as possible while ultimately commanding your existence, while ultimately sitting at the top of the pyramid. Terrible. So maybe... We'll find out in the coming days whether Mitch McConnell had a stroke or not. Uh, certainly looks like he did. But just remember, this is kind of a, it's kind of a perfect emblem of the times, of the gerontocracy as they say it. The increasingly aging people in positions of power. The age just keeps crawling up. And guess what? Like I said, they got access to healthcare you will never have. While other people die young, they keep living because they're in control of the levers of power. It's wild, isn't it? A shit ton of these politicians are actively on dementia meds and they run the country. I fucking hate it. Yeah, it's kind of demented, isn't it? <laughs> See what I did there? It's bad. Real bad. And again, I want to be clear. This is not to say that old people in and of themselves are bad because that's not true. And it's not saying that old people can't be influential or can't accomplish great things because they can. But let's be real. We have a problem of absolutely ancient people clinging into positions that they are definitely, that is definitely not good for them and is definitely not good for everybody else. And that's not okay. It's a bad state of affairs. People should be aware of it. And people should become, uh, people, people should be real about it and acknowledge exactly what the fuck is going on. I mean, guys, come on. We all sat through Donald Trump's people, you know, 
Donald Trump likes to talk about Joe Biden being mentally unfit. But do you guys remember the type of shit that Donald Trump was saying when he was president? Do you guys remember the absolutely demented nonsense speeches that this motherfucker would give from the highest office of power? He was worse than Bush ever was. He was worse than any of his predecessors. We've never had a president so insane, so incapable of stringing together a sentence that follows a, you know, the, a, a, a string of thoughts. Why are you guys bring up the Cobb Fifi? Cobb Fifi is the least example of it. You guys go watch, go watch the speeches he was trying to give when he had COVID. It was insane. It was fucking insane. Obama. All right. I don't have, I don't have any more. I don't have anything more to say on this. Uh, let's just end it off by watching one more time. Can we just watch one more time? Let's just one more time. Okay. Let's just see the moment. Okay. One more time. And a string of, Obama, that would have been the best. That would have been the best sound drop to have there. Just the moment he quits. Obama. He does look a lot like when a baby poops himself. I mean, I'm sure he also pooped himself, but I feel like Mitch McConnell shitting himself is probably like a multi-day occurrence. I I'm I have a really hard time believing. Do you guys remember when Mitch McConnell's hand turned purple? Let me see if I can find that picture. Yeah, do you guys remember this shit? Here's the picture of it. Oh my God, here's the picture of... Look at this shit. Do you guys remember when this motherfucker's hand turned like dark purple? Here's another picture of it. Look, what the hell happened? Both of his hands are turning black. It's deranged. I mean, holy shit. I don't know, man. It doesn't get, I don't know. Look at this. You guys telling me, you guys telling me that this is supposed to be okay right here. I mean, look at him. He's practically a mummy. Anyway, uh, Mitch McConnell sucks. He probably had a stroke. We'll probably find out for sure whether or not it was a stroke in days to come. Uh, our country is being run by literally demented old freaks. And it's, it's scary, okay? That's a horrifying thing to see. I do not like, I hate Mitch McConnell. But I'm not gonna lie, it's just generally unsettling to watch an old person have a stroke in real time and then and then because he needs to be strong as a politician just walk right back out instead of going to the emergency room jesus christ anyway that's all i have to say if you had fun with this segment press that subscribe button down below press like and leave a comment in the in the comments down below uh if you uh Tell me what your favorite corpse that Mitch McConnell reminds you of is down below. Because, you know, I'm sure there's a ton of them. You know, you got Tatankaman, you got uh, the Bogman, you got that guy that was frozen in the Alps. Anyway, just let me know your favorite down below, okay? Thank you very much.